City Council is set to hold a hearing on the juvenile crime crisis. It's not clear when, though. The council passed a resolution to hold the hearing last night, but some critics say that's not a solution. Fox 45's Alexa Ashwell explains. While that resolution did pass, it will be at least 30 days before a meeting even happens. And even then, what real solutions may come out of it? The 15-year-old now charged with the attempted murder of a 12-year-old, leading to new questions, including how and where the teen got the gun and the details of another crime he's accused of committing. When announcing his arrest, police confirmed the teen was already in the custody of juvenile services for unrelated gun charges. We cannot keep ignoring this. Just yesterday, after being introduced by Baltimore City Councilman Robert Stokes, members of City Council passed a resolution that calls certain agencies to the table, including police and the Mayor's Office of Neighborhood Safety and Engagement, or MONSI to discuss juvenile crime, the drivers, and solutions. But critics argue there should be less talk and more action. We've been talking about these problems for a long time. Where's the meat? Political analyst John Deedy says there's little meat in a resolution. Exactly a month ago tomorrow, Councilman Zeke Cohen introduced a resolution that aimed to address the alarming spike in car thefts across the city. I think it takes an approach where everybody is at the table. But those agencies have yet to come to the table. And since then, the number of auto thefts has jumped from about 7,400 to more than 8,800. That's 1,411 more cases, victims, since the resolution was introduced. It's the appearance of action. We're going to do something. We're going to have a meeting. Last month, some lawmakers in Annapolis faced similar backlash. Members of the House Judiciary Committee called DJS Secretary Vincent Schiraldi to the table to discuss juvenile crime. And the laws many prosecutors argue serve as roadblocks to holding young people accountable. They have, from now until January, to have a bill on the table to say, here's what we're going to do. Back in Baltimore, some local leaders pushing back on the notion a resolution has no teeth. The resolution provides an opportunity for agencies to share what they have been doing, the successes in areas of improvement, and then also it prepares as council members as we kind of approach forward towards budget season. But when will meetings translate to change as youth continue to commit and fall victim to violence here in Baltimore? People want to see more than meetings. Stokes says he wants to allow each agency at least 30 days to prepare. Again, a date has not yet been set. Alexa Ashwell, Fox 45 News. I'm Maxine Stryker. Thanks for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, take a moment to subscribe to our channel.